Shona, though, looked like he was only playing. Convinced he had nothing to fear or just bored, he sailed to a minute and a half lead, but then appeared to intermittently go for the handbrake. With the cup reduced to a new level of boredom, Connor cheerfully accepted the applause, winning the race by a staggering 18 minutes, 15 seconds. Then as Connor coming home a winner was always fairly predictable. Even so, there'd still be those asking just how hard he'd really tried. And it was that question which ignited the ill feeling between the two camps. If that is the best that Dennis can do, then uh, I think it's a disappointment for him to be defending in the America's Cup. Because I feel the boat could have gone a lot better than what it did. Can you answer that, Dennis? No, I guess when he's won uh, four America's Cup, uh, he can uh, then tell me how to do it. <laughs> I think we would have much more respect for our opposition if they had sailed it to its full potential and we had been beaten by an hour and a half rather than 18 minutes. I'm sailing a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else is sailing a dog. <laughs> Working perhaps on the assumption that it's better late than never, the the first in the best of three was won by Stars and Stripes Catamaran, skippered by Dennis Connor. The giant New Zealand monohull was simply no match, losing by more than 18 minutes. It should have been a greater margin, according to the Kiwi skipper, David Barnes. I would like to say that um, we didn't feel that Stars and Stripes were sailed anywhere near her potential. We felt that they just paced us around the course most of the way. If that is the best that Dennis can do, then... Uh, I think it's a disappointment for him to be defending in the America's Cup. No, I guess when he's won uh, four America's Cup, uh, he can uh, then tell me how to do it. <laughs> Connor has been accused of dogging it, but Big D had his line all worked out. I'm sailing a cat. <laughs> Somebody else is sailing a dog. <laughs> And final, it reminded me a lot of that big blue between Newtown and Manly in the semi-final back in 1981. It really has been that sort of thing. There's been enough action going on around here to forget the fact that it's been a lousy sporting event. It's been so weird to see so many people argue about so many ways to lose so much money. Um, it really has been a farce. The interesting thing about it all, you can see behind me, is Connor's dock. And uh, the people even now are starting to unpack a little bit. It's nothing like Fremantle when it was won there. The whole thing has been a little bit of a farce. We'll talk about that in a second. But let's just take a look at how yesterday unfolded. The race had been a non-event from start to finish. It was a match which should never have been, either because Faye shouldn't have forced it or because the American should have reacted with more dignity when he did. Either way, it was a disgrace to an event which had a disgraceful enough past already. Connor just couldn't keep out of trouble yesterday. Even after he won the race by 21 minutes, 10 seconds, he was in hot water on the high seas. Surrounded by a fleet of spectator craft speeding to keep up with his high-flying cat, he sped past a yacht club packed with, originally, well-wishers. The wash from the speeding Amada ripped the club apart. Spectators were injured, the marina damaged as boats pounded into it. The fans turned to hecklers. I guess the next question is, who's responsible? Oh, I'd say Sail America, without a doubt. If Dennis hadn't been going at such an extreme speed, they wouldn't have followed. They wouldn't have gone in front of him. But he was leading the pack. There's no question about it. And then we said, how about enforcing the speed limit? And the guy laughed at us. He laughed at us. And I mean, if Dennis had come in just a tad slower... Other dock scenes were more pleasant as Connor and crew went swimming. So did the Kiwis. But the fun was short-lived. If you thought this event was in any way sporting, listen to the post-match press conference. Uh, I will not be going home to New Zealand until after that protest has been heard uh, in the New York court, and I'd like to be home for Christmas. Since we're all politicking here, Michael, I have a letter. I haven't started politicking yet, Dennis. It doesn't say anything about monohull or catamaran, Michael. Dennis, did but you, I'm no attorney. Did you, pick <laughs> up, did you pick up the first letter on July the 23rd, or did you pick one up back on July the 17th at the same time? I'm just a carpet salesman, Michael. I mean, it's hard to believe, but I really like him. I mean, he did. <laughs> what do you do to the people you don't like? <laughs> if it was a mismatch, I think it uh, was significantly because the challenging yacht uh, was not fast. I find it quite disturbing 
that the gentlemen on my right, who are supposedly some of them professionals in the industry that I work, can sit in a press conference and tell lies. That really troubles me. Why don't you this show up in is. San Francisco? I'm sure they'll let you enter the Maxi Boat Series. Yeah. I'll keep, I'll keep we'll the see you on, on the starting line in San Francisco, big boy. Dennis, I'll keep the boat, Dennis, I'll keep, I'll keep the boat on this coast long enough for you to try build one and sail me. It was a disgraceful exhibition, but worse was still to come. The group broke up to allow the winners on stage, but Farr had one last claim that his American counterparts were lying. I, I heard that. Big boy. Yeah, yeah, get lost. Really are, yeah. You're a loser. Yeah, get off the stage. The winner. To, get to, to say that kind of stuff. Actually, Dennis, there were no winners here. The fireworks which followed were tame by comparison, but at least they could be watched without embarrassment. At the Kiwi Base, a place appropriately named Bullers, the real partying got underway. It had been a bold folly from the start. Connor's right, you can't help but like Faye and his dreaming. It's getting harder to say the same for Dennis. The nicest thing you can say about any of this, though, is that at least it's now almost over. And that's the key. It's almost over. Just when it's going to finish, we don't know. Faye will be back in court by about Monday or Tuesday. Once the court case is finished, it will be 24 months to the next America's Cup. Otherwise, it'll be in 1991 if it doesn't happen to go very long. And really, that's where the farce ends for the moment. But uh, Dennis Connor hasn't won any friends here, by the way. He's carried on the last couple of days. Maybe the Kiwis did start this. I'm sure they did, in fact. But uh, they didn't have to enjoy the kicking contest quite as much as they did over at Stars and Stripes. Yeah, oh, John, it's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, we all had that nickname of Big Bad Dennis. But isn't it amazing how grown men can suddenly become children over a little cup? It was dead set embarrassing last night watching them go around. You've covered football matches. I've covered football matches. We see guys out there who really are building living daylights out of each other on the field. Not, they've got the good... Prime Minister, Mr Jim Bolger, your support and every New Zealander's support has been so well received over here. And you can see the support for Team New Zealand here on the waters off San Diego. They're in a foreign land, but they are so popular. The champagne is flowing, courtesy of the Louis Vuitton people. And Peter Blake and company are certainly enjoying this moment. The big red pants belong to the big man, Aaron Hansen. Bruno Trublet on the back of the boat, on the stern of Black Magic. He has run the Louis Vuitton Media Centre here, and he is as delighted as anyone, because I'm sure, as sponsors of the Challenger Series, they were sick and tired of coming to San Diego. So, support aplenty as we join Peter Montgomery on the water. Well, welcome aboard NZL32, and Peter Blake just said, Peter, come on down aft. You've just won the America's Cup. What a fantastic three. Well, I think New Zealand...